Thank you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. My name is John, and today we're going to talk about forms. And not just any form, we're going to create a conversational form. What I mean by this is typically when you go to a form, you just see a long list of questions. So it's name, business, website, comments, enter, and it submits it. This one, we're gonna create a conversational form, which is like having a conversation. So it says, hey, what's your name? Question mark, and that's the only field you see. Now typeform.com is known for doing this. So I'll head over to typeform. Here they are here. Um, you can sign up for these guys and integrate it into your website but we're gonna show you how to directly do it in your WordPress website. I've never even looked at the prices. It's 35 bucks a month to do this, um, which is an absolute ton. We'll be using WP Forms to do this, um, where you just buy it one time and you're done, and you're not limited by this stuff here. It's only three jumps, interesting. Um, so I'm gonna to go to templates and show you what I mean. So here's an online quote form template. So I'm gonna go ahead and preview this. And this is what I mean by conversational form. So it says we offer a range of translation services to suit your vision and budget, blah, blah, blah. So I click get my quote. So it first says, what's your name? It's John and I hit enter. Okay, John, what type of translator would you like? So I just click and it goes to the next one. So you see how it just shows one at a time other things to note is at the bottom, it shows a progress bar, and then you can actually flip between the questions here, which is great. Well, all of this can be created in WP Forms. So let's head over there now, uh, wpforms.com for more information, but we're gonna get into actually building this. So what I've done so far is I've installed WP Forms, I've added the Pro License, which allows me to have conversational forms um, show up as an option. To do so, you go to add-ons, and then it says conversational forms add-on. You click install, and then you click activate. And that's as far as I've gotten. And from there, we will recreate this form here from type form in WordPress itself. So we're gonna go to add new under WP forms. We're gonna call this Conversational form demo. Um, what I love about these guys is you can select a template. You can do blank, donation, a suggestion, request a quote, etc. We're going to start blank so everything is blank from scratch so you can see it. So, first thing we're going to do is it asks for a name. So, I'll go back up here. First up, what's your name? And I'm gonna do this, I'm actually gonna do this one. Name. So go ahead and delete this. Yes, I'm sure. I'm gonna say the label is, first up, what's your name? And I'm actually just gonna do a simple name where it's just one blank thing. They can put their first, their last, it's up to them. The next question in the list is, uh, what type of translator would you like? So I'm gonna to go to fields. Actually, hold on a second. And we'll do multiple choice. Paste that in there. It was junior. Oops. And go back. Professional or academic. Now it won't fill in the name like this. It may, but I'm not sure how to do it. So it says, okay, John, it takes a name from before. Uh, but I'm okay with that, saving the 35 bucks um, and all the limitations. And then I can say this is required. Also, you, you can have um, images in here. So you could show a junior, you could show a professional or an academic or anything. You could have cats, dogs, and birds, depending on what you're doing. Next, we will go to the third question. 
And how many words does your document contain? So is that just a number? Nope, it's a regular answer. So go back to fields here. Single line of text. And we'll make this required. So there are just three of them, just to kind of show you and give you uh, an idea. So this is just basically a form right now at this point. In order to change it to a conversational form, I could go to settings and it says conversational forms. When I click that, I simply enable it. It has the title, I'll leave that there. A message you can put at the top. You can view it here, you can have a header image. You can hide the WP Forms branding and I can choose a color. Additionally, just like in type form, you can have a progress bar and it could be a percentage or proportion. So if I go to preview, give it a second to load here, there's my purple background. And now we have our title. If I had a description, it would be down here. So let's say I'd love to give you a quote on, you know, whatever, A, B, and C. I'll click start and now it says, first up, what's your name? And I can say John. And when I hit enter, you can see this progress bar at the bottom has continued. We have the arrows just like type form. Then I can select, well, if I hit C, it does choose that for me. So I've hit B on the keyboard, it chooses it for me. And lastly, how many words? 35. So there are the basics on how to create a conversational form and essentially replace type form if that's what you use. What's nice about doing it with WP Forms on your own WordPress website is you can create unlimited forms. You can go way above the limits that they limit you on, such as if you have a thousand entries, then they cut you off or you pay more. This is kind of a one and done feel for the forms. Anyway, I love the way this form works. One thing I do like about this over type form is you can see the questions coming up, which is great. Um, go ahead and that red subscribe button if this was helpful at all. Give it a thumbs up as well and I'd love to hear your comments below and I'll respond to them. Um, people ask all sorts of questions and this video is based out of some of those questions. Additionally we have a Facebook group. Let's go back here to Facebook community at the top of our website where you can ask additional questions about these videos and have discussions with other people. Um, and see things that are upcoming and changes in different plugins, etc. That's it. Thank you so much for watching.